I'm just sewing some more sweet peas. We've got those ones are all germinating. When did have... you sew those? Oh God, a month ago? I noticed you didn't write the date on them. No, I didn't. Good. You're lucky no. I wrote the breed. Yeah, the breed. <laughs> so Dylan, these are your... Um... Oh yeah, this is... These four are mine. Yeah. Pe pepper. Yeah. Pickle and Mizuna. And Mizuna's already coming through a bit. Yeah, that's been really quick. And then there's a tiny bit of my pepper yeah, just there. Yeah, they are. See that? Yeah. And how long ago were they sewn? Five days. Five so that's days. really quick, the Mizuna. Well, that's this time of year. And, and you know, yeah. it's things happen so quickly at this time of year, which is why you're doing succession sewing, right? Yeah. So... I've got some questions for you. So we've got these sweet corn plug plants that yeah. you got. Sweet peas. Thanks, darling. Put it in the first one so I remember everything in that line. Um, so this sweet corn that you bought the other day, yeah. so we're going to put that directly in the raised bed. Is that right? Uh, yes, directly and in the raised bed. Okay. And then I've got some other sweet corn to sow. Yeah. So if we sow those in pots, is that going to give us some distance between when this lot is ready... And when this will be ready? Yes, it will to an extent. So the, the, I would say the key thing at this time of year is that because everything happens so quickly, if you've got plug plants and you know it's going to be warm and we know tomorrow it's going to be incredibly warm and then we're probably, well, we're not, we're not guaranteed out of the woods in terms of frost, but it's unlikely that we'll get frost. So I would get plug plants out straight away and then do a succession sowing in maybe 10 days time. Okay. But what you will find is that things will catch up very quickly because that is what happens at this time of year. Think things germinate and then catch up incredibly quickly. Okay. So yeah. So By this way, one we can. Hmm? I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Just nod. So this one we time, can sow until like the ah. end of May. So shall I wait before doing um, some more sweet corn? Yes. Well, I would wait. I would. Yeah. <laughs> You said not. <laughs> I would say, so that they, I would say, are about, you know, three, four weeks germinated. So I would say, go ahead and sow the next batch. Okay. And I would also get the, the summer, so it's a summer variety of broccoli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Get that okay. out as well okay. in the raised bed. Okay, we'll do that. One final question. Yep. No, look, look. It's all germinated. Oh, that's the oriental leaves. So that's actually another good example because we've got yeah. half a packet of yeah. the seeds left yeah so okay. no, what don't. do you think in another week we should put some more oh, out yeah in another week okay. Yeah. oh yeah okay I got and my final question in here is tomatoes. i've done this to the tomato plants is that right Yes, yeah, so again, these are plug plants and we've got some seeds to sow. Yeah. And I would say anyone who's managed to get hold of plug plants or who has got seedling tomatoes, get them in grow bags and, uh, or, you know, or if you can't, haven't got grow bags or growing bags, get them in containers, whatever it is you're growing, and get them going because they're going to really start romping away. Can I play table tennis now? <laughs> yeah, come on. Yay! <laughs> Jane. Okay, so we've got various things that have now germinated in here and I am particularly clueless about what to do next. And this is actually often the bit where I get a bit bored. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's really exciting. It's germinated and then things die because I can't be bothered to do anything. That's so, not good, I know, is it? I know. So this cauliflower, so I said two rows of those. I didn't put a date on, so I haven't got a clue how long that's no, taken. No, off. that's Don't, shame, isn't it? Not too bothered about that. And the kids sowed some cauliflower, cauliflower mm. as well. So what do we do now? Can we put that straight in the raised bed? I presume not because you've handily pre-prepared these pots here for Here's me. Here's seven. Uh, no, nine. I prepared earlier. It's an awkward odd number, isn't it? Um, so, well, first of all, let, let's Put say what... The sun what... is on. Very cool. Are you yeah. reflecting? That's nice. Them. Hello. So the reason we are doing this is because we're taking advantage of the fact that we've got a greenhouse. Um, there are some crops. Oh, did you notice that I have uh, cleaned the windows in here? Oh yeah, what yeah, did you do that with? Not up here. I did it with my hands and a cloth. It looks looks great. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Okay, so okay. the reason let's stay on on uh, on topic. Okay. So the the stages of of seed sowing, veg growing are 
sowing and germination, pricking out, which is this stage, potting on and planting out. With some crops, you bypass a little bit. So for example, Mizuna here, um, we have actually sown some in the greenhouse. We're just taking advantage of the fact that we've got a greenhouse to get an early crop. Ordinarily though, you would sow Mizuna direct outdoors into a, a bed, into a prepared bed. But there are other things where it definitely works in your best interest to start them off either on a windowsill or in a greenhouse or a propagator or whatever you have, mm. and then prick them out and pot them on. So pricking out, it's really simple, but it's fiddly and time consuming. And the best thing to do is just take your time. These two leaves here, yeah. they are called the cotyledons. And oh, say that again, cotyledons. Cotyledons or cotyledons, depending on how you pronounce it. Okay. And they are the effectively the germinating um, leaflets of a seed. And what you're doing when you're pricking out is you're holding the cotyledons and not the stem. The stem is incredibly fragile and very, very easy to bruise. So hold on to the cotyledons. Okay. With one hand. So, but surely I'm going to just snap the top. No, off. no, no. Now get a pencil. I there have we one. are. Or you can do it with a lolly oh, stick no, or anything like oh, that. Oh, I need to swap hands. Yes. Is it I bought you that pencil? Yeah, I did. Why are you using it for this? Ah, uh, sorry. What's right. What am I doing now? Goldfish, I'm poised. Goldfish. Yeah. So then, just hang on. I can't see what you're doing because you you're wrong-handed. <laughs> okay. So. Right. I'll do it the other way around. I can okay, handle so, it. So just slide the pencil underneath. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as you grab, no, no, a bit more. And then gradually pull on the cotyledons oh. carefully, carefully. That's it. Perfect. Da, 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 da. Now, make a dib with make your pencil. No, well, I wouldn't have done it in the middle, but that's fine. How many am I putting in I here? would put, I potentially put four in, okay, in each okay, corner. Okay. Like that? Yeah. So I'm, I'm only putting quite, like the root. Quite deep. You're mining? The rooty bit. Yeah, and then put, then that's it. Da, da, da. Done. Oh, amazing. Okay. So here, I you know, we must have like 200 cauliflowers. Yes. So, so we can give some away around the village. You can give some yeah. away, but also don't forget, when you've, when you've taken some of these out, you can leave some in. So oh, don't yeah, take yeah, a whole yeah. block okay. of Leave that one in, for example, let yeah. it grow on okay. a bit, and then you can pot okay. on that next time. Fine. Can I ask another really stupid question? Yes. Do cauliflowers just have one cauliflower each? Or are these going to have like lots of cauliflowers on one plant? They normally have only one curd per plant. A curd? Okay. It's a curd. Oh, it's just a what's, curd to me. What's a curd? <laughs> what's a curd in? Okay, um, brilliant. So okay. I'll just carry on with this. Yes. And then when I'll they're a bit bigger, a we'll talk about putting them the out in the next stage. Bed. Okay. Yes. And then we'll also talk about what things you can sow outside now. Yeah. Okay. But I wouldn't sow anything outside now because as be previously mentioned, it's going to be very on cold on Monday compared with today. All right. Okay. I'll okay. carry on here. Super. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.